I also want to thank the uh, Malaysian Endocrine and Metabolic Society for this kind invitation. It's always been a pleasure to come back here and receive the hospitality of Malaysians here. The topic given to me uh, is a Cushing's disease, and I shall endeavor to share with you what I consider to be new thoughts on an old problem, as well as some lesser known fact and published series uh, studies on Cushing's disease. What I hope to cover in this next 25 minutes or so would be epidemiology, sharing with you mortality and morbidity data, diagnostic strategy. Are there any differences between micro and macro adenomas presenting as Cushing's disease? Any thoughts on perioperative management? outcomes post-surgery, where post-surgery outcome is unsatisfactory or unsuccessful or those who refuse pituitary surgery, what options do we have? And finally, round up with some case illustrations to reinforce all this message and at the same time share with you some personal philosophy. Cushing's disease is caused by increased ACTH due to a pituitary corticotrope adenoma. There has been some controversy, is it something from the hypothalamus, but generally I think most people believe it's a pituitary problem. Uh, there's cure, there's no surrounding hyperplasia around the adenoma, and for that main reasons, uh, what was long held as a belief of a pituitary adenoma as a cause still holds true. Cushing's is associated with a whole host of morbidities which may be cardiovascular in terms of coronary artery disease, cardiac failure, myocardial infarcts, hypertension, both in adults and children, glucose intolerance, as well as frank diabetes mellitus, thrombotic states, osteoporosis, psychiatric disturbances, endocrine disturbances, including growth hormone and gonadal dysfunction. And lesser known, perhaps, ocular complications besides just cataracts, they may even present with exophthalmus. This is a summary of the available data on mortality. Way back in 1932, the mortality was high, and as surgical techniques improved, identification of adenomas improved, uh, results definitely improved, and what was subsequently shown in the surgical series was that the mortality ratio after successful normalization cure matched the